Okay, we just got back from swimming in the river. You just pulled this off of some part of her body. You didn't just brought this to us. I think it's a leech. I'm pretty sure. It's for sure a leech. They they're kind of like ticks, but like in the ticks, water. They live in the water. It's, it's, yeah, I'll fix it if you want to. Everything. We had to move camping spots or parking spots, I should say. So good, babe. Seriously, so good. What do you like about it? I like how you went to the effort to bread the chicken. Like and, and, healthy and I like... Um, so many flavors. And, and I like... Orange chicken. And I, and I, with oranges. And, and I like um, this. The chicken. We have another mechanic on his way here right now to help us look at this motorhome issue, the drive shaft, and confirm that the problem is what we've already diagnosed. You drank completely out. Yeah, Dude, okay, yeah, I saw that and I was thinking that doesn't look yeah. completely right and it moves around when I shift. Yeah. The others that look uh, that look like that, they all look looks Phew, that was so nice. They didn't even charge us to come out and look at this. Tell you what, an emergency brake saved my life when I was 18. Oh wow, that is amazingly destroyed. <laughs> okay, so the mechanics got everything fixed. What? Did you see the little mini white corn tortillas? I did not. When the mechanics were about to leave, I asked them how much do we owe you. They said that it was taken care of. Let's just leave it at this. The Lord takes care of his own. So, thanks again, Chris. That was really sweet of you. Thank you, Victor and Kenneth Jennings and David, for doing that work for us for free. Thank you so much. I'm just really grateful. Thank you, Father. The beginning of the end. The beginning of the end. What's going on with you, Harriet? Oh my gracious, huh? Mommy, it's overflowing. It's not overflowing yet. Still got a minute. Daddy's praying for a young man. Someone just paid for a meal again. <laughs> we don't even know who. Oh my goodness. That's so crazy. Just sit down, it's okay that it's wet. That's life. 
We live at campgrounds. What are you guys doing? We're playing rocks. What are you making? making? A mess. I'm making, um, I'm we're making, making cake. cake. What kind of cake? Uh, chocolate. Healthy chocolate, I hope? Yeah, I'm uh, making. No yeah. natural flavors? No. Okay, I'm good. not making natural flavors. I'm just making. Um, so I'm just making berry cake and pocket cake. Mmm. Mm. Do you guys like this new campground? Yes, I do. Got the water down there. Playground over there. Yeah, it's beautiful. What's the name of the campground? Chester Frost. Chester Frost Campground outside of Chantanooga. Oh, the playground? Yeah. Yeah, we will later. No soon. Later. No soon. Later. No soon. Harry says soon, so say soon. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like one, you know how. You look up the definition word, they might have a whole bunch of words. It's like an angel over that region, a, a fallen angel. That's right. Because he was opposed to the angel of God trying to get Prince of the power of the air, yep. So, it, it, yeah. I don't know exactly, does that mean just over all of the air? Is that a certain place? Or So this campground here outside of Chattanooga, Tennessee has been one of our favorites. So we really weren't sure where we were going to go next, but our time was up here. We really felt like we were supposed to go down towards Atlanta, Georgia, and y'all confirmed that through a dream. The only problem is we're going into 4th of July weekend, so all the campgrounds near Atlanta are full. As we were praying last night before bed, I saw myself doing a post on Facebook, so I decided I better do that. And that got me connected with a Sabbath fellowship there. So they said we can come park there for the weekend. Off on the next adventure. Okay, we're finally staying at a place where we can kind of let the girls have a little more freedom riding the bikes without worrying they're gonna crash into other RVs or something.
What is she doing? This way, Willa. Good job. Come on. Woohoo! Okay. Get on the pedals. Pedal. Go. 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 Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You're keep there. You're there. Next. Yahweh is my shepherd. I will not. Each of the girls we'll got to pick out a floaty. No, no. Yeah. Ow. 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 They're going to be so fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> Girls, come here. All right, come on, all right. Okay, Daddy and I have something to tell you. Exciting. There's something growing in Mommy's tummy. What is it? Uh, a baby. What is it, Harry? <laughs> a baby? A baby? Yeah. In Mommy's tummy? Send it to her. Baby? In mommy's tummy. <laughs> we also want to take this opportunity to tell Wella what's growing in mommy's tummy. She already knows though. Well, she she's been she's been pointing to my stomach and saying B A B Y, even though we haven't told her yet. She's obviously been hearing us talk about it. Are you smart? Yes. <laughs> yes. So I'm at eleven weeks. So. Yeah. Okay, so Willa. Mommy has a baby growing in her tummy. Did you know that? Yes. You did? Yes. Look, it's really small. It's like this big. This big. And it's growing in there and it's going to grow. And Mommy's tummy is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. That's what the baby looks like. Can you see that? So there's a little baby. Are you excited to be a big sister? Yes. You're gonna be a big sister. And we gotta wait though, we gotta keep waiting. But you have to help take care of mommy. That's why I'm tired all the time. Because I have a baby that I'm growing. The baby's gonna be in mommy's tummy. <coughs> like this. And I'm gonna go, oh, 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 the baby needs to come out. And I'm gonna push the baby out. Oh no, that baby is upside down. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to come out this way. It's going to come out, and Daddy's going to catch it. <laughs> Maybe. And then we'll have the baby like this, and then we'll say, here, Willa, hold the baby. Okay, support its neck, because its neck there. And you'll get to hold it like that. Whoa, be, oh, be careful. Be careful. You can't spray Thebes in her eyes like you were doing earlier. Mm -hmm. We had to leave the birth center. They wanted me to come home and sleep. They said they'd let us come back in a few hours. So we text and say, okay. We got five hours of sleep, we're re-energized, we're ready to come back, and they said, oh, actually, there's terms, you can't come back until you're having steady contractions every three minutes for an hour. There's that cute little angel.
Okay, so no dilation change for six hours. Cervix is swollen, bag is ruptured. They're talking C-section now. Love you, Keely Joy. I'll be praying. Essentially, concisified, we did every style of birth with one birth. Well, maybe not every style of birth, but everything leading up to the birth. Labor. Labor. Harriet's here. She's beautiful. She's healthy. Okay, so Harriet, you're not going to be the baby anymore. Why not? Because there's going to be a new baby. You're going to be a big sister. So, about a week ago, Harriet and Wella were coloring together, and Wella said, what should I, what should I draw? And Harriet said, draw a baby in mommy's tummy. And that was before we knew. So, James didn't want me to get a pregnancy test. Why? He just wanted to wait and just see. wait. And surrender. Surrender yeah. the need to know. That's what we decided to do, even though it was really hard not knowing. And last night, or this morning, I woke up and I had a dream. And in my dream, there was a woman talking to me. And she, it was a whole supernatural, like we were in like a supernatural place. Um, she didn't have like a stethoscope where she was listening to like my stomach or anything. She just said, your baby has an above average heartbeat. Your baby is strong. Wow, this is a strong baby with a strong heartbeat. And then I woke up. I was like, oh, what? Oh my goodness. Like, this is y'all telling me that this baby is strong. And because I was worried because like four months ago, Four or five months ago we had a miscarriage just like trusting ya and so he just gave me that confirmation of like your baby is strong your baby has a strong heartbeat so then i downloaded this pregnancy app and put in the dates to figure out like how far along i am and it said i was on week five when the baby's heart starts beating so it said your baby's heart is beating so after the dream and then seeing that it's just like oh that's so cool so that's where we're at